Hello and welcome back and today we want to continue our look at NAS software however we want to move away from the desktop environment and our laptops and more and we want to move towards one of the ways in which most of you do access your NAS on a regular basis we want to look at mobile applications and over the course of the next few videos I want to show you a lot of the key applications from Synology, QNAP, Acer Store, TerraMaster, Thekus, all of the big brands. I'm going to try and sneak as many of these into, uh, in between other videos throughout the next few weeks and months. Because let's face it, one of the, if, you, if this is going to be one of the most common ways you access your NAS, then chances are you're going to want to know just how good this can you know, handle your files. Now straight away, you've probably spent most of this looking at the still screen of my phone. I'm really sorry about that. But what we're going to be looking at primarily in the first sets of these videos we're going to be looking at these QNAP apps here and these Synology apps here. We're going to do one video for each of them. And of course, this is the first one, so you're going to give this long, lengthy intro, which I apologize in advance. But we're going to start the videos with a QNAP application. We're going to look at QManager. Now, of course, there is a Synology alternative to this application. And the Synology version of this app, I believe, is called DS Finder. Now, first thing first, as you can see, this app... Um, I've used it already before, and it's found at least two NASs on my environment here. That's two NASs that I'm utilizing, one as my primary, and the one below as my backup. Um, before we go into the NAS, it's worth looking at the app itself. And QManager is basically your, your Swiss Army knife app when it comes to your NAS from QNAP. Um, for example, you can go into the settings there, and that's setting up your QID, the ability to access the NAS um, over the internet rather than the network. And some basic settings here regarding the NAS itself with regards to logging in and some of the information. Um, you, if you click Add NAS, it searches your local environment for NASs and it keeps finding those two there. Or Sign in QID means you can add that network, I'm sorry, that internet based access to your NAS. At the top right, you can get information about the app itself, see if there's any updates for it and more. And you can refresh your list as you see fit. Now, with regards to the NAS itself, uh, the icon on the right there of the pencil, that lets us look about more information about the NAS. And if we log into the NAS now, we can check out uh, what QManager can tell us. Now, straight away, you're going to tell something very naughty of me here. I've had this, na uh, this NAS uh, running for a little bit too long with files going, getting a little bit too full. Um, it's only got the one disk inside this NAS because I had a, a RAID failure and I've got a drive going replaced inside that. But again, that's the drive, not the NAS. Uh, this is the interface from QManager. It gives you information about the system health. And each one of these will give you real information about the device, the resource monitor, the amount of storage and what your storage is dedicated to, as well as the hardware temperature and the fan speed currently of that uh, device. On the application side of things, this lets you know about those core system applications, what they're doing with regards to backups and the download manager, which of course I'm not using right now. On the top right of the screen, We've got our information here, and this is where we can get far more um, detailed information about the NAS. Resource Monitor tells us more about the system, the RAM, the storage, the bandwidth being used, different users being logged in, everything we need to know. If we carry on, we can look at background tasks that are happening in the background. That's file transfers, backups, copying, deletion, uh, deleting, synchronized uh, backup, VM, snapshot, all of those will be happening there. Privileges means that we can control individual access users. We can see if they're logged in and we can change their level of permissions and access at any given time. App Center lets us add further applications or disable or enable existing applications. And as you can see, it's just filtering through all the apps that I've enabled or disabled on this particular NAS and the ability to add more on the more apps area. And these are all the official apps you've got on there and you can add them and some of the third party apps too. Uh, system logs obviously gives long term information about the device, synchronization and more. And if we go back into the uh, backup station, backup station basically details all of our different kinds of um, action happening in the background with regards to backing up. Now, NAS to NAS, I'm not going to feature it in this video, but the reason I've got these two NASs set up is I'm going to show you how to very quickly and easily utilize um, a primary and a secondary NAS and have them backing up over your network very easily and it gives you the ability to buy the most basic cheap NAS and back it up over the network um, back up your primary NAS nice and easily 
Download station is for those that want to download RSS, um, BitTorrent, um, FTP, HTTP, stay legal everyone. And this is how you handle all of your downloads there in the background. I haven't used this app in quite a long time and it's synchronizing there. We're not going to wait for that. We're just going to come out of that. And system tools is where we can see that I've got an external drive connected to this device. We can back up where I back up my PS3 data. Block list is if we want to um, uh, block different um, accesses and access to certain files and more. And system is where we can find our NAS on the network, make it sleep, make it restart and check for firmware updates if we wish. And of course, we can shut the device down if we so choose. And at the bottom, of course, we've got more settings where if we want to fiddle around with the device itself and get more information, those ones from earlier. And finally, the help and feedback and contact support and all the information from earlier. We'll take it back to the main screen, shall we? And that's really Q Manager for QNAP that gives you real-time information about your QNAP NAS from your mobile phone. It doesn't have a file manager, but very few NAS devices will give you a file manager um, in their overview app. That's a completely separate app that we'll talk about later on. But that's been QManager for QNAP. If you've got any questions or want any particular apps to be featured on this, do let me know in the comments. But otherwise, I'm going to move over for the next video onto the Synology equivalent of QManager called DS Finder. See you then.